Evelyn is here, yoga instructor at the JCA. Welcome at my practice. Appreciate all of you who are practicing with me. Uh, today, we're gonna do a sun salutation series. So I will introduce you to all of the sun salutations, which uh, can create a complete practice. Uh, if you do all the suns, um, it give you the stretches, the strengthenings, the focusing, the centering. So it gives you like a complete yoga experience. Uh, let's just start in child pose first, just to ground, for grounding, for slowing down. You can keep the knees together, you can open the knees a little wider, that will stretch a little more your hips. And just release the tailbone down to the heels. Stretch the arms forward. If it's more comfortable to bring the arms alongside the body, do so. You can also use blocks during the practice. And this time you can put your forehead on a block. If you feel any tightness and the body is not able to relax. Turn your awareness inwards. Let everything go and allow the ground to support you. Relax your shoulders, your shoulder blades. Relax the tailbone. And then bring your awareness to the breathing. Breathing through the nose. Fully, completely inhale. Hold on the top just for a moment. And slowly release the breath completely. Repeat a few times. Focus on the breathing from the very beginning to the very end. Narrow the focus. It keep you in the present. Place your tongue in a tongue lock, the tip of the tongue behind the front two teeth, the back of the tongue just widened and relaxed. And that's a great way to check your tongue position during the practice. Just watch the holding patterns there and that indicate that maybe you're holding in a physical body. You tighten, you hold, stress. You can notice in your tongue position and then return to the relaxed tongue lock, the relaxed full breath and that keep you in a present. Take a deep inhalation and stretch the arms forward, fingertips reaching forward. Mm, then relax the entire spine, stretching, feel the tailbone reaches to the back, draw your belly in, draw the ribcage in, place down the shoulder blade on your back, lengthen and widen. Mm, then inhale, reach forward with the arms, lift the tailbone up, reach a little farther and just come to a Cat stretch position, forehead down on the ground or maybe the chin, maybe the chest. Draw down the shoulder blade on the back. Breathe slowly, steadily. Tip of the tongue behind the front two teeth, back of the tongue widen and relax. Chest reaches forward, shoulder blades reaches back. Press down the shin, press down the hand, connect with the ground and from there lift the tailbone, 
lift the pelvic floor, draw the belly in and bring the navel closer to the ribcage. Then they slowly lift the entire torso up, place your hands under the shoulder and just move a little bit the spine just intuitively, maybe a cat and dog, maybe swaying side to side just to waken up the spine. Any movement that feels good to you, just freely moving. Open up the blockages between vertebrae, muscles, joints, moving freely, maybe flipping the palms, stretching the wrist. Feel grounded through the shin, through the back of the feet, through the knees, placing down, and just a few times, travel through the cat and cow. Feel the connection, the groundedness through the hands and the legs. And feel the fluidity at the same time in the spine. Chest come forward and tailbone goes up in a cat, in a cow. Squeeze the belly, squeeze the ribcage up, lift it up. Keep the tongue in the tongue lock. Keep your facial muscles relaxed. And then coming to the center, tuck the toes under and lifting up. Downward facing dog and again here we just move a little bit fluidly, the hips swaying side to side. Pressing down the thumb, the palms. Then bring the heels down maybe, lift the tailbone up, throw the belly in, squeeze the ribcage, look forward and walk between the hands. Take a deep inhale to bring the chest forward, release down the shoulder blade and then relax the head down, clasp the fingers behind the back and bring it up and forward. Grounding through the center of the heels through the inner feet, the outer feet. Lifting up the kneecaps, engaging the thigh muscles, lifting and shift the weight a little bit more forward on the toes. Lifting up and freeing up the hip area, pelvic floor, lifting. Bring the forehead under the knees. Feel that elongation, that lengthening in the hamstring. Keep the thigh muscles engaged, keep the kneecaps lifted. Feel the center of the heels pressing down. And then release the hands down, press the hands down and lift the pelvic floor up. Keep pressing down the heels, lift the pelvic floor, lift the belly and slowly roll the spine up, reach the arms up. Hands to the heart center, close your eyes and just honor yourself. Bring the focus in between the eyebrows, honoring the self and honoring your practice. Nice and opening your eyes and Coming to a sun salutation, Surya Namaskar A. Bring the arms up, reach up. Chest lifting, shoulder blade down, feel the center of the heel bones pressing down, grounding, exhalation, fold forward on your thighs, release the head down, maybe shake it. Inhale to your flat back, reach the chest forward, shoulder blade down, press the hands down, step or maybe jump back to high plank and coming to chaturanga bend the elbow release the knee down if needed chest is coming forward draw the belly in look forward and with an inhalation release down the hips coming to upward facing dog press the hands down press the top of the feet down tuck the tailbone to the back Bring forward the hip and reach the chest, the lower ribs lifting up, shoulder, shoulder blade down, 
transition to downward facing dog press the hands down draw the belly in roll on your toes lift the pelvic floor and it's much more important to engage the pelvic floor and lift up and maybe you need to bend the knee maybe you need to lift the heels up it doesn't matter but really stick the tailbone the sit bones up press down the inner feet the outer feet engage the inner thighs push the ground away with your hands widen the shoulder blades take a deep inhale heels lifting draw the belly in look forward step walk or jump to the front of the mat flat back with an inhalation draw your belly in exhale folding forward rising up with an inhale arms reaches up heart center with an exhalation eyes steady and still draw the belly in push down the heels one more time sun salutation a inhale reach the arms up folding on your thighs exhalation draw the belly in flat back with an inhale engage the core press the hands down step or jump back chaturanga slowly don't load too much inhale upward facing dog lower down the shoulder blades press down the thumbs center of the palms exhale downward facing dog visualize your center line visualize the spine draw the rib cage closer to the spine maybe looking between the toes eyes steady and still lower down the shoulders on your back keep the neck long push the ground away and lift the pelvic floor up one more deep breath through the nose tongue in the tongue lock inhale heels lifting look forward step walk or jump inhale to your flat back fold forward weight on your toes exhalation rising up push the heels down lift the pelvic floor engage the thighs arms reaching up hand to the heart center exhale sun two bend in the knee chair pose arms reaches up throw the belly in rib cage in tailbone down shoulder blades down sit back exhale push the heels down fold forward exhalation pushing maybe the ground away with your hands and your heels and that help you to engage the pelvic floor to lift up lengthen step or jump back travel through chaturanga upward facing dog open up the chest reach up tuck the tailbone under elongate the lower back exhale downward facing dog three-legged dog the right leg lifting up keep down the right hip bone bring the right knee to the chest step between the hands lower the left heel down push both heels down lift the pelvic floor and bring the torso up first warrior center of both heels bone pushing down lift the pelvic floor from here lift the lower belly bring forward the left hip and the left rib cage rising through the rib cage lift the arms throw down the shoulder blades breathe steadily calmly tip of the tongue behind the front two teeth widen the rest of your tongue one more deep inhale reach up to the fullest draw the belly in press down the left heel then bring the arms down push the ground away with your hands step back chaturanga upward facing dog mm, downward facing dog left leg lifting up to a three-legged dog keep down the left hip bone draw the belly in bring the weight forward step between the hands push down the right heel draw the belly in bring the torso up center of the 
heel bones pressing down, find stability, bring forward the right hip, lift the right rib cage up, relax down the shoulder blade, feel how you grow away from the heel bones, freely. Check the tongue lock, check your eyes and the facial muscles. One more deep inhale, reach for up. Draw the belly in, press down the left and right heel bones, press the hands down, chaturanga slowly, consciously, mindfully, transition between the shapes, downward facing dog. Center of the heel bones pressing down. Tom lock presses down. Shoulder blades flatten on the back. Draw and lift the belly in and forward. Ribcage closed and visualize your center line. Inhale, heels lifting, keep drawing the belly in. Push the hands down as you come forward. Flat back, inhale. Fold forward, weight on your toes, exhale. Bend your knee, chat pull, uh, chair pose. Lift the ribs up, lower the shoulder blades. Straighten the leg, hands to heart, exhalation. One full breath here. Lift the kneecaps up, engage the thigh muscles, throw down the tailbone. One more time, Surya Namaskar B. Bend your knee, chair pose. Rib cage lifting, folding forward, consciously moving, flat back, inhale, step or jump back, chaturanga, lower down, not too low, upward facing dog, open up the front line, exhale, downward facing dog, opening the back line, right leg lifting, Right leg step forward, first warrior. Stabilize and root down through the center of the heel bones. Lift the pelvic floor, lift the ref rib cage, bring it forward. Sit deeper, feel free with the torso growing. Draw the belly in, press down the left heel bone, right heel bone, hands pressing down, step back, chaturanga. Outward facing dog, opening the front. Exhale, downward facing dog, opening the back. Lift the left leg up, free legged dog. Stretch up the toes. Left knee to the chest, stepping between the hands. Lower down the right heel. Stabilize through the heels. Torso coming up, tailbone down. Lift the pelvic floor. Draw the belly in and lift the rib cage. Reach through the fingertips. Breathe steadily and deeply. One more deep inhale, reach up. Press down the left heel, bring the arms down. Step back, high plank, chaturanga. Control the transition. No force, but keeping the mind in a present Downward facing dog, realign the shape. Distribute the weight between the two sides. Push the ground away and lift the tailbone away from the hands and the heel. Heel is lifting up, knees softening, look forward, step, walk or jump. Flat back, throw the belly in, shoulder blades down on the back. Fold forward, exhalation. Feel the stretch in the hamstring. Bend your knee, push down the center of the heel bones. Bring the arms up, chair pose. Hands to heart, exhalation. Full breath. Exhale. Surya Namaskar C. Bend your knee, chair pose. Bring the rib cage up. Look up. Exhale, folding forward. 
flat back with an inhale, push the hand down to bring the rib cage forward, feel that lengthening in the spine, and feel the engagement in the core. Keep the core in, press the hands down, step or jump back, chaturanga. Upward facing dog to open the front line between the toes and the rib cage. Downward facing dog, exhalation. Right leg lifting up in three legged dog. Stretch the right toes up. Right knee to the chest, step between the hands, lower the left heel down. Second warrior. Press both heel bones down. Lift the pelvic floor up from there. Lift the rib cage up. And you feel that there is a wall right behind your back. You're pressing the back into it. You want to lengthen the lower back. Drawing the belly in, turning the tailbone down. Pushing the back of the right knee forward, away from the outer edge of the left leg. Supported side angle, bring the right hand into your hip. Release down the right elbow on your thigh. Bring the left arm up. Widen the space between the shoulder blades. Draw your lower belly in, rib cage in, and you look up to the left thumb. Tongue in a tongue lock, pressing the tip of the tongue behind the front two teeth. Bring forward the left rib cage, the right side of the rib cage, close it. Press down the center of the heel bones and bring the torso up and reverse. Right hand on the left, left hand on the left thigh. Stretch the right side of the rib cage away from the right knee. Fingertips stretching away without shortening the left side of the body. Nice, coming back to the second body, straighten the right knee, find yourself in triangle. You can bring a little bit closer the two legs because you really want to find stability. Pushing down both heels, won't lift the ribcage up, and then reach the right arm forward, lower down the right arm and feel a long line creating between the two arms, looking up to the left thumb. Bring the rib cage forward. Activate the kneecaps, lift. Thigh muscles lifting that support your shape. Keep the breath flow freely. Push down the center of the heel bones, bring the torso back. Back to your second warrior, then windmill the arms down. Draw the belly and step back to your high lunge. Chaturanga, knees can always lower down. Open the front line, open the back line. Second side, left leg lifting up. Left knee come to the front, lower down the right heel. Second warrior. Looking forward beyond the left middle finger. Press down the heels and lift the pelvic floor. Lift the rib cage, close in. Feel the spine lengthening between the tailbone and the top of the head. Breathe with ease. Be present. Support it, side angle. Left hand in the left hip. Press down the elbow on, the on your knee. Draw your belly in and elongate the spine. And then look up the right thumb. Bring down the shoulder blade on the back and just feel how the entire torso, every piece of it, connected. Visualize that line between the right center of the heel to the top of the head, lengthening. Then press down the heels and lift the pelvic floor and bring the torso to the center and then from there, reverse. Lift the right side of the rib cage. 
stretch the left side of the torso. Relax the neck. Stability through rooting and growing. Nice. Back to your second warrior, straight and the front leg, and then just the hair, bring closer the two feet together. Lift through the pelvic floor and find your triangle. Feel that the back pressing to a wall. Feel the stretch between the hands. And maybe if you can grab the big toes with the peace fingers, maybe you want to do it to give a little deeper stretch without compromising the shape without forcing. Stay humble in your practice. Don't fight. Just find a way to open up and stretch. Check the tongue log. Check your facial muscles. Press the heels down. Back to your second warrior. Bending the knee. And then windmill the hands down. Step back. Chaturanga. Downward facing dog. Find the center line. Long spine. Find the breath. Take a deep inhale, heels lifting, bend your knee, look forward, step, walk or jump to the front. Inhale to a flat back, exhale, chest to tie, press the hands down, press the heels down, lift the tailbone up, weight on your toes. Chair pose with an inhale, hand to heart, exhale. Nice, Surya Namaskar D. Or Shivananda. Reach the arms up, reach up and maybe reach a little bit back. Pressing down the heels, lifting the hip, lifting the pelvic floor, lift the back of your heart back and maybe bring a little bit the fingertips to the back. Folding forwards, exhalation. Step the left back, left leg back, lower the knee time and bring the chest up forward. Lower down the shoulder blades. Press the hands down, step the right leg back. Eight point down, knees down, chest down, elbow up, chin down. Cobra from here, lengthening the leg. Press the hand down, shoulder blade down, elbow close to the ribs and just the rib cage lifting. Coming through, child pose, tuck the toes under, up to downward facing dog. This time the right leg comes forward, lower the left knee down, bring the chest forward, opening the front line, chin up. Coming to the front of the mat, bring the left leg forward, folding on your thighs. Flat back inhalation, chest reach forward, Fold on your thighs, exhale. Rising up with an inhale. Head to heart, exhale, relax your face. One more time, other side. Inhale, reach the arms up, maybe slightly back. Don't crunch the lumbar spine. Fold forward, exhalation, close the rib cage. Flat back with an inhale, this time right leg step back, lower the right knee, reach the chest up, lower the shoulder blades, chin up, press the hands down, step back, lower the knee, lower the chest, lower the chin down, cobra, pujangasana, chest up, shoulder blade down, child pose and from there, downward facing dog. Left leg step forward, this time lower the right knee, chin up, 
chest up, shoulder down. Forward fold in the front, bring the right leg forward. Chest down. Nice rising up. Head to heart. Exhalation. Nice. Surya Namaskar Deep. We'll do it with a high lunge. Inhalation. Reach the arms up. Open the front line. Exhale. Opening the back. Flat back with an inhale. Left leg will step back as you exhale. Keep the heel up. All ten toes facing forward. Draw the belly in and coming up to your high lunge. Bring the right hip forward. Lower down the shoulder blade. Lift up the ribs. Eyes steady and still. Keep together the inner thighs. Find your center line and lift the ribcage and maybe move the fingertips just slightly to the back. Coming back to the center and becoming to a spinal twist. Bring the hand to the heart. Bring the left shoulder forward away from your tailbone and twisting to the right. Now you can create a fist with the right hand and the right, left hand will be around, giving a little more energy and pressure. Keep the lower belly in and bring the chest a little more forward. Engage the left eye. Relax your neck and keep breathing. Lift the pelvic floor. Spine is long. Nice, release the hands down and slightly bring the left leg a little bit closer. Come into a pyramid stretch, forward, forward. Take a deep inhale, bring the heart forward, lifting the lower belly up. And then fold the torso on your right thigh, keeping the hands down on the mat. Push down the both center heel and from there lift the tailbone up. Elongate the left side of the ribs. Relax the back of your neck. Relax your shoulder. Keep pressing the heels down. Keep engaging the knees. Keep lifting the thighs. Breathe. Check your tongue position. Maintain that focus in the present. Maintain the breathing. Relax any force. Press the hands down. Step back to your high plank. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Left leg comes forward between the hands. Right heel up. Root down through the two feet. Lift the pelvic floor. Draw down the tailbone and bring the torso up. High lunge here. Pressing the palms together. Lift the ribcage up. Draw the belly in and lift the navel closer to the ribcage. Draw the tailbone down. Shoulder blades down. Lift the chest up and maybe move the fingertips to the back. Keep your inner thighs together. And then back to the center, coming to a spinal twist, right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Create a fist with the left hand, right hand around and pushing the right hand into the left hand into the right. Draw down the shoulder blades on your back, shoulder away from your ears. Keep the lower belly in continuously. Keep the spine long. The face relaxed. Nice, and then just lower the hands down. Bring the left leg a little bit closer, right leg a little bit closer to the left. Lift the ribcage up, the torso lifting out from the compression from the hips and then fold the chest to your thigh 
relax the back of your neck, relax the shoulder, re-engage your heels, pressing the ground away, lift the pelvic floor up, engage the kneecaps lifting, engage the thigh muscles lifting, and the inner thighs connected. Pull the ribcage a little bit more forward. Breathe steadily. Feel that energy line is active in the back of the neck, legs, the spine. The core is engaged, actively present. Press the hands down, lift the belly up, step back. High plank and Chaturanga. Nice. And then downward facing dog. Deep breath here. Exhale. Lift the heels up, look forward, step, walk, or jump to the front. Flat back to re engage your core. Keep the core engaged as you fold on your thighs. Rising up, push the heels down, lift the pelvic floor, lift the ribcage up, hand to the heart, exhalation. One last Surya Namaskar. The last on the grand Surya, Maha Surya. Take a deep inhale and bring the arms up, reach up. Mm, folding forward, exhalation. Flat back, engage the core, bring the ribcage forward. Press the hands down, Chaturanga. Mm, downward facing dog. Right leg reaches up, and then bring it forward, find your first warrior. Pushing both heels down, ribcage away from the hip. I said from there, we bring the torso forward and we're coming to a third warrior. Weight on the right leg, lift the left leg up. Find a T-shape here. Both hip bones facing down, lower belly in. Face relaxed, shoulder blade down on your back. Then soften the right knee, step back with the left leg, find second warrior. Reach to opposite direction with the tip of the fingers. Relax the shoulder blades on your back. Reach forward with the right knee. And then we move the arms down. Stepping back to high plank. Chaturanga with the flat back. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg lifting to three-legged dog, then bring it forward. Lower the right heel down. Both heels pressing down. Up to first warrior. Grinding through the heels, lifting through the ribcage. Now weight on the left leg, bring the torso forward. Third warrior. Draw the belly in, ribcage reaching forward. Tailbone reaches down. Right hip bone reaches down. Reach to opposite direction and soften the left knee. Step back gently to second warrior. Relax the face. Tongue in a tongue lock. Reach forward. Windmill the arms down. Step back. Chaturanga and this time from upward facing dog. Go down to child pose. Great job here. We went through all the sun suns. 
return to the steady, slow breathing. Deep inhale. And exhale. Press the hands down up to downward facing dog. Reach the tailbone up. Pressing through the ground, through the hands, the ground away. Last standing posture will be the tree pose. Lift the heels up, look forward. Step or walk to the front of the mat. Flag back with an inhale. And folding down, weight on forward on the toes. Rising up to standing. Hand to the heart. Exhale. Find your weight on the right leg first. Bring the left leg up. And then find your variation of the tree. Bring the hands to your heart center. Eyes steady and still. Pressing through the right heel, lifting the pelvic floor, visualize your center line. Breathe steadily, keep your tongue in a tongue lock, relax the shoulder blade. Then just clasp the fingers except the index finger, bring it up. Reach the ribcage up, feel the line between the heel and the ribcage. Keep that long line here and release the left leg down on the ground, nice. Lower the arm, keep the length of the spine. Weight will be on the left leg, push the heel down, lift the right knee up, clasp the fingers under the knee just to open a little bit more. And then find your variation of the tree. Hands to heart center, anahata. Eyes on a single point. And shift the focus in between the eyebrows. Staying completely present. Bring the arms up, reach up, feel the ribcage closing around the spine. Reach up fully. Keep that length if you release the right leg down, nice. Lengthen up one more time. Then fold forward on your thighs. Flat back with your inhalation. Press the hands down, step or jump back. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog, then down on your knees. Bring the arms up, head to the heart, exhale. Lift the ribcage, close it. One last front body opening, coming to a camel. Open it a little bit wider. Space between the knees, like hip distance. Press down the shin. Hands to a heart center maybe, or maybe keep it on the lower back to support any variations, any choice for your camel. Push the heels down, I mean push the feet down, the knees down, bring forward the hip and lower down the tailbone. Lift the ribcage away from the hip, look up. Keep the length of the front body and keep the length of the back body. Keep pushing forward the hip and elongating the back of your heart. Slow down the breathing. Slowly coming back. Sitting down on the heels, eyes steady and still, calming down. Nice. 
by sitting on the other edge of the left feet and swinging the legs forward. Pachimottanasana, straightening the legs or maybe bending if it's help you to keep the spine, the lower back and the rib cage up. Otherwise, bring the arms up to give a little more length. Now folding down on your thighs, grab the big toes if it's available, if not, grab the knees, grab the thigh, bring the sit bones to the back, lift the pelvic floor, lift the lower belly away from the sacrum, lower down the shoulder blade on your back, focus on the big toes maybe, press down the center of the heel and the back of the leg. Keep space between the legs and the belly. Just visualize you keep engaging with the core. Send the release, bring the torso back up, opening the legs to straddle. Not too wide. Make sure that you are in control. Make sure you release your ego. Feel the inner groins all together and the ball of the feet and the center of the heels reaching away. And then start walking the hands forward, ribcage closed and reaching forward, top of the head reaches forward. Keep down the tailbone on the ground, lift the pelvic floor up, lift the lower belly. Lift the navel up and bring it forward. Keep the shoulder blade down on your back. And slowly coming back up. Bringing the knees up together, lowering down on the ground. Coming to a supine pigeon, crossing the right ankle on the left thigh and lift up the left leg, feel a nice stretch in the hip. The IT band. Make sure that the right leg relax. You can clasp the fingers under the left thigh. Plug down the shoulder blade on your back. Squeeze in the belly. Visualize your spine, it's long and every vertebrae connect with the ground. Keep it long, the back of the neck. Keep your tongue in a tongue lock. And then switching legs, no force. Supine pigeon. Stretching the left thigh, and the left IT band, hip, draw your belly in, draw the rib cage in, lengthen the back of the neck and relax your face. Widen the space between the hips. Nice and then release. Grab the big toes with the peace finger in happy baby and sway side to side, massaging the back. And coming to an inversion. Bring the legs up, feet up. And there's a lot of variations of the inversion. We can stay here, we can come to a shoulder stand, maybe a headstand, maybe at the wall, maybe a handstand. If you go up in a shoulder stand, make sure that the weight is on your shoulder and the upper arm, not on your neck. Draw the belly in and lift up. Maybe look at the big toes. Focus on it and breathe steadily. Keep the airway open. S 
softening the knee and bringing the feet behind the head in a plow pose. If it's available, if the toes are down and you're lifting the pelvic floor, then you might want to clasp the fingers behind the back and pressing down. Wrist and elbow straight and pressing down. And then bending the knee in ear pressure pose. Maybe keep the hands together, maybe release. And then release the hands, keep it down on the ground. And slowly roll the spine down. Bringing the legs all the way down on the ground. And then we find our way to the last asana, shavasana. Integrating all the energy, all the stretches, the strengthening what we did during the sun salutations. And it's a complete practice for centering, for aligning, stretching, and just be aware a little deeper of the physical body. Great practice for the mind to keep it present, great practice for the breath to keep it steadily controlled and not to find the balance. In a practice, the last shape is about a complete relaxation, a complete letting go releasing all the muscles, trusting the earth that it holds us. Try to stay as still as possible. Let's try to stay in this shape for a good five or ten minutes. It's an awake relaxation. Try to stay awake and be present in the most relaxed way. Thank you as a, always for practicing with me. The light in me honors the light in you with peace. Namaste.